We're queuing things up today in the green pastures of Strathcona. This is Vancouver's Pacific Central Station. This old beauty opened in 1919. This is the terminus station for the Transcontinental Railway. The end of the line. A lot of spikes must have been driven into the 5,000 kilometers of track that runs across Canada. I wonder what became of the last spike to go down. I know it was driven into the track, oh, about 500 kilometers away in the Rocky Mountains. We could look for clues there, but driving several hours just for this little vlog, well, well that would be crazy. Let's go. All right, we're here on the Coquihalla Highway, and we've got insect carnage on the windshield. Bear with me, folks. Starting in 1881, the Canadian Pacific Railway took four years to complete. The successful construction of the massive project was troubled by delays, scandal, abuse, and hundreds of deaths. It was an impressive feat of engineering, though, through difficult terrain and mountains. It was by far the longest railway in the world. And it was officially completed when financier Donald Smith drove in the last spike in a big ceremony. And we're headed to Craig Ellicke, British Columbia, to see if we can find that last spike. Stay tuned, friends. And we made it to historic Craig Ellicke. It says on November 7, 1885, a plain iron spike welded east to west. And we're here to try and find that spike. Let's take a look around. Ooh. Did you catch that dude walking into the ladies' bathroom? Let's check the replay. This mysterious fella starts talking to me in a minute. Stay tuned, friends. They got a real nice monument here at the famous spot that says, Here was driven the last spike, completing Canadian Pacific Railway from ocean to ocean. Incredible. And here's where the last piece of railway was laid down 135 years ago. I got here late and unfortunately the gift shop is closed for the day. But there's that mystery dude on the right of the screen. In this next clip, he's over on the left and that's when he starts talking to me about some interesting stuff. Turns out that was the Craig Ellicke caretaker. He told me that identifying and locating the last spike is a little tricky. When Donald Smith hit the last spike, it bent and had to be pulled out. He said Donald had it cut up and he presented the pieces to his friends. Donald hit a second spike and it was removed from the track shortly after the ceremony to prevent theft by souvenir hunters. This second spike, he says, was given to the patent office president and his family who still has it turned it into a carving knife. Oh, caboose living. That's the life for me. Fresh air, beautiful scenery, and all the fixings. My caretaker friend said what I'm really after is this silver spike that was created for the ceremony by Canada's Governor General Fitz Morris. Old Fitzy couldn't make it to the ceremony with that spike, and he gave it to his buddy William Van Horn. And Bill Van Horn can be found in this big tribute to Alex Ross's famous photo of the ceremony. As Donald Smith hits the last spike, Bill Van Horn looks on. My custodial friend said I should head to Banff, Alberta, where they have a clue on what Bill did with that silver spike. But that's over 300 kilometers away, and driving there just for this little vlog would be crazy. Let's go. All right, we made it to beautiful Banff, and check it out. Here's a big statue of Bill Van Horn, and he's pointing to the right there. Let's accept his good guidance and head over to the beautiful Banff Springs Hotel. Bill Van Horn was president of the Canadian Pacific Railway. In Vancouver, there's a school named after him on Ontario Street, as well as this apartment building on Cordova. Bill's in the North America Railway Hall of Fame and a summer estate in New Brunswick as a National Historic Site. Bill's credited as the inspiration behind building several grand railway hotels. Completed in 1888, Bill said of the magnificent Banff Springs Hotel, if we can't export the scenery, we shall have to import the tourists. And every year, thousands of tourists come to Banff and enjoy this old beauty. 
All right, we're in Heritage Hall here inside the hotel. It's just above the front desk. Lots of incredible artifacts and photographs here, including one that caught my eye. If you saw my recent vlog in Los Angeles, you'll remember visiting the final resting place of one of my favorites, Marilyn Monroe. In 1954, she filmed a movie in Banff, A River of No Return. And here she is having fun at the hotel's golf course. Incredible. Big picture of Bill Van Horn here too. And right over here is a lovely display dedicated to that silver spike we're looking for. It says, the last spike originally meant to signify the uniting of the Canadian Railway actually never made it to its destination in Craig Allecky due to the weather. In 2012, Bill Van Horn's grandchildren donated the last spike along with other artifacts to the Civilization Museum in Gatineau, Quebec. And as we take in the breathtaking Bow Falls here beside the hotel in Banff, I can tell you that the Civilization Museum in Quebec is 3,600 kilometers away and going that far for just this little vlog, well, well, that would be crazy. So we'll do it in part two, which I'll post very soon. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of old Canada as she once was. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I hope you leave a comment if you have a fond memory of the railroad visiting Craig Allecky or Banff. Shoutouts today to Victoria Radborn and her husband. Thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmere for wardrobe. Until next time, as my grandpa used to say, be good to the other. Oh, I think I might be driving west to get to Quebec. I should be going east. Yeah, jeez.